I know, I know I'm not the first person from the White House to come to Philly this week. Some of you may have seen Joe Biden at the Eagles game. He told me, Barack, you got to get on the Wentz wagon. So we, they, we got a new quarterback. We got hope in Philly. Welcome back to our Eagles online franchise. As you can see, the Wentz wagon continues to grow as the rookie QB, along with a staunch Eagles defense, has them 8-0 in the top of the NFC East. This week, we are matched up versus a pesky 3-6 Falcon squad. What's so interesting about this matchup? Just two weeks prior, right around the trade deadline, the Falcons traded their seldom used running back Tevin Coleman in a 2018 draft pick for the Eagles veteran middle linebacker Stephen Tone. The trade was a win for both teams as the Eagles got their future back to the future and the Falcons got a Pro Bowl run stopper they so desperately needed. And the two will match against each other today and we'll see how it goes down. Let's get to the kickoff. And the Eagles have elected to receive, so they will take the opening kickoff, and it is a short one, taken at the 10-yard line for a decent return to the 27. Eagles come out in the big set to start the game, look to feature Coleman early, and on the count, he goes off tackle for a nice run. Oh, but a big hit, knocks him back. Short of the first down, second and two, go back to Coleman off tackle, and he muscles his way four through four yards and a first down. The Eagles are coming out and they go with the play action. Wentz looking deep and Ertz, the Wentz to Ertz connection is doing great again early on as that one of his favorite targets. First and 10, Wentz drop back and throws a post and oh, he just barely drops it right out of his hand. Second and 10, the Eagles drop back again and oh, he's taken down with the sack from Brooks Reed. Wow, that's a super quick pass rush. Third and 16, and he converts to Aguilar for a first down. Nice pass by our wins. Just really thread the needle there to get that first and off tackle to Coleman. Some nice moves and breaks it down the sideline, and he goes in for early touchdown. Coleman has had featured heavily on that first drive. The Eagles went right down the field and scored on the Falcons' defense. Tulloch was nowhere to be found. First and 10, the Falcons take over. At the 25-yard line, they advance to the 33, and whoo, we had a corner in the flat there, but he just could not get there and make a play. Third and inches, Falcons run off tackle and get it, have some nice blocks. Even though the receivers were looking for somebody to block, they just got enough blocks to get them to the outside. First and 10 from the 46, drops back, and oh, it's a hit, sack, fumble, and they dive on it. What a big play. Logan with the fumble recovery as Fletcher Cox burst through, the Eagles take over. First and 10, they go back to Coleman, but there's nothing doing on the right side as he's stopped by the staunch Falcons defense. Second and nine, they go with their uh, often used fullback, D. Vital, for a few yards. Big third and six coming up for the Eagles. And let's see if Wentz can get the work. And a nice slant pass to Matthews going in for the score. Threw a dart there and gets in for a touchdown. The Eagles are up early. 14 to 0. Can the Falcons answer? They go off tackle and oh, he's just taken down. Had some nice blocks there, but the cornerback came off the block nicely and brought him down. Second and four. Falcons going back to the ground game, but the Eagles are swarming, getting several defenders to the ball. So bring him into a third and long with the Eagles like with that pass rush that they have. On third down, he oh, he did a nice pass. Kendrick dropped back under the deep end and picks it off. What a good job by Michael Kendrick to play that perfectly. First and ten. And they go with a play action and a nice pass to Ertz as he stumbles and comes down with a big gain. First and 10, the Eagles go back to Comey. He breaks the tackle, but he meets other Falcon defenders and does not get it. Actually, you lose the yard on that one. And back to Coleman again. He tried to muscle his way, but he's taken down. He's featured heavily, even though he has not done well this drive. Third and 11. Can the Eagles get in there? And oh, they take a big sack and a fumble. The Falcons defense stood up, made a big play, and the Eagles are forced to settle for a field goal, which they convert and goes up 17-0. That could have been disastrous for the Falcons early, but their defense played that perfectly and did not give up any big plays to the Eagles and almost turned the ball over there. So the Falcons take over, and can their offense actually get it into gear? They drop back, and it's a batted ball, almost interception. The Eagles' front four pressure is just coming all day, Matt Ryan, and not giving them much time there. The Eagles make some adjustments on defense late, second and 10. Ryan drops back. He has someone wide open, but he's broken up easily there and only gets a couple of yards. Third and six. Again, 
Oh, nice. Wow. We thought it was a completed pass, but he just barely dropped in this. Forced to settle for a long field goal, which they actually convert. What a great kick there. And the Falcons get on the board for the first time of the day with three minutes left in the second quarter there. And the Eagles get the ball back. Can they answer? Wentz goes play action. Goes deep one-on-one -on -one with Matthews in the safety. But the safety is a great job by breaking up the pass. Does not get anything. Second and 10. They're dropping back. And there's heavy pressure on Wentz. But he gets off the Ertz. And Ertz fights and fights for a couple yards. Brings up a short third down. Third and three. And then he throws a nice dart right down the middle to Aguilar. Gets the cover to the middle linebacker. Tulloch uh, bit up there on the short route. Has a wide open. And we go back to the ground. And Coleman breaks a few tackles right up the middle. A nice gain of Tulloch is run 10 rushes for 63 yards with a 6.3 yard per carry. Average doing great today. First and goal, they're going hurry up because there's time running out. And he throws a nice slam pass in. <laughs> Dario Green back on breaks several tackles. He is a big target at 6'6", and he muscles his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Wentz was a smart decision to go with that hurry up, kept the Falcons defense off guard and did not use much time there. So it's a really good decision. And the Falcons coming out with the running game. And oh, a missed tackle there on the corner. And they get a big gain. So they actually might get something out of this drive. They're going with the hurry up. Even though they have three timeouts, they choose not to use the timeout to go back again and so they're down they need to get some points on the board and they go with the play action drop back and he's hit as he throws but he does get a completion there and they do use a timeout with 10 seconds left in the half there second and one and oh and fletcher cox who's that cox that's abraham actually abraham comes through and ends that drive Wow, so the Falcons come away with no offer. points. A little bad clock management there. Also the good Julius. Eagles defense right with the sack, getting pressure on Matt Ryan all day. The Falcons Listen, have the ball, and the Eagles this come out with a nice back. blitz. They I just send Ryan. Hicks right on a nice blitz, comes off the corner and takes down Ryan. Second and long. Can he get some yardage? And the Eagles come through and, and uh, rally to that short pass. Third and 16. Really don't want to be in a long situation versus the Eagles. And the D-line comes through again. Just keeping pressure on Matt Ryan all day. He really has not been able to do much, get much going. Oh, the pass again to the Eagles. Field the punt and get a nice return as he ducks out of bounds there. And so the Eagles take over and they're in control. 24-3. Uh, a nice move by Coleman. Wow. Just juking and diving and bobbing and weaving down to the 35-yard line. Eagles first and 10 goes with the play action. And goes deep one on one. Matthews and is batted away. Matthews has not gotten those deep balls like he has in the past. So we do a little draw there to scrolls on second and ten, which brings up a third and eight. And can the Eagles convert? They drop back. And again, a versus the cover to a similar play as before. Aguilar goes splits right down the seam and gets the necessary touchdown. A big play there. I mean, they're leaving that the middle line but leaving that field, middle of the field wide open, and the Eagles are taking advantage of it. And so the Falcons take over. The offense is trying to get something going. But as you can see, the Eagles defensive line has been playing on the other side of the ball all day and are not having it. Second and 13. Matt Ryan throws off a defender. Wow, what a great play by Matt Ryan to throw off a defensive lineman and complete the pass. Third and four. As Matt Ryan is fighting as hard as to give the, to give the Falcons a chance. And let's see what they go with. They drop back, hit the corner route, but no, it is good coverage there. And it's batted down. So the Falcons are forced boy, to, kick, to put the ball, and it goes for a touchback. Oh, so the Eagles now. take over in the third quarter. The right up the middle, the Coleman again. He's just getting oh, chunks. Almost has uh, 100 yards rushing on the day. And they go back to Coleman, and he's just muscling, muscling, and just really trying to bully the Falcons defense right now. Third and two, Coleman stutter steps, but again goes forward, and he has over 100 yards rushing for the day as the Eagles are really just smashing the ball. Look again, and Coleman off the left side, and one man to beat, but he's taken down just short. 123 yards rushing on the day and a touchdown. Coleman is really, really winning the matchup, but Teller gets a nice good hit in there, but he has not been in the middle uh, when he's been needed today as the Falcons have been hurt or running and passing when the Eagles uh, have gone to the middle. So third and four, drop back wins. And look at the beautiful pass to Matthews on the quick little corner out there. Wow, what a great pass. And uh, Matthews has really been a big, big help in the passing game, even though he's not come down with some one-on-one -on -one catches today. 
The Falcons get the ball, take over again. And wow, go with the play action, but he's hit by a corner blitz. Another play action on second and 10, and a nice catch down there. Takes all the way down to the 23 yard lines. The Falcons are trying to get some good gains anywhere they can today, so they will take it. And they, wow, and he almost catches the ball in triple coverage there, but the tight end drops the pass. Second and 10. Matt Ryan's looking for anything, not much going, and, and he just actually comes down with that one in tight coverage. The Falcons are trying to get on the ball. They're trying to run the ball, but the Eagles defense again hit them for the loss. Second and goal. Just a few minutes left in the game, and nothing. Ryan dropping back, dropping back, and just finds someone short in the flat. He actually does catch it, but time is running out. Third and goal. Falcons are just trying to get some some points in there. It throws it to a crowd of Eagles. What a terrible decision, but the Eagles defense does not capitalize on it. Third and goal. Falcons just trying to get their first touchdown of the day. Matt Ryan drops back, looking for the double move. It's not that he's rolling out, and he's taken down. Fletcher Cox does it, and Ken Fletcher Cox has been, been on Matt Ryan all day long and just terrorizing him. And that basically does it for this game as the Eagles deal it out. It wasn't a very close matchup between, we were looking for a big matchup between Tulloch and Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman clearly won that, and he is the running back the Eagles thought he was when they traded for him. Hopefully you guys like this episode. Smash that like button, subscribe for more of the Eagles CFM. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see and what you think about the season thus far. This is Matthew with Sports Gamers Online. I'm out.